Hi again, it's Nate, Nikon Metrology, Columbus, Ohio office. Today we're going to talk a little bit about barcode readers. So I've created a CMM manager program here that allows uh, using a barcode reader for uh, several different aspects of the inspection, primarily launching the correct inspection routine uh, after scanning a barcode that may be on the part or on some sort of job traveler. Uh, secondarily, uh, the barcode reader could be used to read something like a serial number that's uh, represented not only as an alphanumeric character on the part, but also as a QR code or barcode. So quickly, I'll run through a program that I've prepared in advance that has some VB that creates a custom dialog box and allows the user to pick the different part configurations that they might have available for inspection. So this particular instance allows uh, inspecting up to four unique parts. Uh, imagine a holding fixture that holds in a rectangular grid, uh, one, two, or three parts. So the user can pick manually using the mouse and or keyboard the different parts that they have available and maybe there's even, in this case, an empty uh, workspace in the, the fixture that's not occupied by a part. So when you click OK, I've got some test output here that's just telling me in uh, a simple message box the different part configurations. So I selected part uh, A, C, and B, so part 1, 3, and 2. And based on the inputs that I've made, the execution of this program could be changed uh, so that either within a single program, you're executing different parts of your inspection routine, uh, or within that program, you're launching uh, subsequent uh, inspection routines and completely separate CMM manager programs uh, based on the inputs. So let's run this same program again. And this time, instead of using the mouse to make my selections, I'll use the barcode scanner. So maybe in this particular case, I'm holding four instances of part A. So you can see for each one of the selections, configuration one or A is selected. And you notice I can use the barcode scanner to step through any prompt uh, in the application. Uh, so in this particular case, the barcode scanner is really just emulating keyboard inputs. So let's run the program again. And this time we'll use an example where we have parts B, maybe two part Bs, a part C, and a part D. So very simple application. It could be reused and, and adjusted for all sorts of different applications uh, to suit your needs for executing single programs, multiple programs, and you know some sort of fixture or grid or some sort of unattended mode. Um, and again, the barcode scanner is really just replacing the, the keyboard input that the user might make uh, for selecting the appropriate part program to run or for entering things like lot numbers or, or serial numbers or so on. So thanks again for joining me. Uh, stay tuned. We'll continue doing this series of you know, quick five to 10 minute demos in CMM Manager and, and posting more videos on YouTube and uh, on the blog and so on. Thank you guys.